this video, I am going to show you how to add texture on polymer clay using household items. First is screwdrivers. On the conditioned polymer clay, mark the area you want to add textures. I use the slotted screwdriver to create a whip pattern. Then I use the Phillips screwdriver to create an alternating dot pattern. There's a lot of items in the toolbox that you can use for textures on polymer clay. Just experiment and you will be surprised with the result. Second is a placemat. There's a lot of different texture you can get from a placemat. I choose the lace design for this one. Put it on top of the clay and then roll the acrylic pin to imprint the design. Next is Vintage Glass Plate. Vintage glassware have plenty of pattern that you can use to add texture on your polymer clay earring pieces. Fourth is a peppercorn. Just roll the peppercorn on top of the polymer clay and you will have this nice leather texture. Fifth is a plastic bottle cup. There's a lot of bottle cups of different sizes that you can find at home. So aside from using it as an alternative for circle cutter, you can also use it to add texture. And the last one is a toothbrush. Just tap it on the area of the clay and you will have this paper sand like texture.
next step is baking the clay. I always cover the clay with aluminum foil to avoid direct heat from the oven. Bake the clay as per packaging instructions. For this one, since I'm using Sculpey Primo and Souffle, the baking time is 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 130 degrees Celsius. After baking, let it cool and then drill a hole using a manual drill or an electric drill. Next is sanding to remove some imperfections like small bubbles and excess clay on the edge. For sanding clay pieces, you need to use a higher grade of sandpaper. I usually use 400 to 1500 grit. For the textured pieces, you only need to sand the back and sides of your earring pieces. you will feel that your pieces are smooth and no more tiny bubbles. I made a mistake on this piece. There should be no hole at the bottom of this one. So I make this a small dangling pearl-like piece to hook in the bottom of the hole. The same process applied to this piece. Condition the clay, make the shape that you like, then bake. And yes, you can include the ball pin during the baking process. And the last part is assembling the pieces. The most common question I got here is what is the size of the jump ring? I commonly use 6mm diameter, but sometimes the design might need bigger diameter like in the case of the green earring, I use 8mm. Here are the final pieces. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching!